So welcome to Jennifer Butler TV and today we are going to be talking about makeup which is a very important subject for women. We put a lot of money into our makeup so let's get it right. So Brandy has volunteered. Uh, she's worked on her beautiful makeup today and we did a, a chart for you. So we want to give you three tips. The first is to use your foundation color under the brow and you can see this beautiful light peach here. The second is to use your eye color or your hair color in the crease. In this case, for Brandy, we use the copper in the crease. And then the third tip is to use some other value of either your blush tone or your hair color, a lighter value, on the lid. And this one, I just love the way you did this. We've had many discussions about how bright someone's makeup needs to be. And I think what, what Brandy did is really helped me come into the present generation and have an alternate to my red blush. I was always wearing my red blush all over my face, my forehead, my chin. And so I felt you've given really me a wonderful education and a more natural look as well. So one of the things we were talking about is that those are the basics. And then I wanted to ask her how she would be doing an accent color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this would be what I would wear every day. And then if I was going to do something a little bit more dramatic, you mean like if I was going to use a color, I would then do my eye line usually with like maybe my, one of my power colors, like blue Beautiful. or purple. Okay. Um, a lot of people can do it in the crease, but for, for me personally, it looks a little too dramatic. So mm. I put the color around my eye. Um, other than that, if I'm going to use a shadow, I'll usually, usually use this goldish copper, which mm. you taught me is from my eye. Yes. So I never knew um, how to choose the colors for my face. So this has been really helpful in choosing my makeup. And now I've learned about how to use my hair color, my eye color, my skin color, my makeup. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then for me, for an accent, I really love my, my reds and my blushes. And so I have a red coral eyeshadow. And sometimes I use that on the lid as well. That's just for me to play and kind of dress up a little. Um, I have worn, because I have turquoise, I have mm -hmm. worn that in the outer corner sometimes. Mm. But I think sometimes, I remember my teacher saying, as a winter, it's important to have a neutral canvas because the winter is a neutral season, mm. right? We have the white snow against the black sky. And so for, for oftentimes winters, it looks great to do a, a more neutral look. And then you'll notice the peach blush is what, what she used for the blush tone as well. So I'm very happy with this look for me and for you. Yeah. And um, I've used it a lot. It's been a good training for me to sort of uh, soften my look mm. and, um, and also not use quite as much of my red blush. Now I, I actually haven't worn it in quite a while. Mm. So I'll have to experiment and uh, show it to you when I do wear it. Maybe when I'm wearing my red, right? Mm -hmm. When I'm wearing my red sweater or red dress or going out on a date or something. So I, I feel also, I wanted to mention the, the lipstick. So you have several choices from your palette. She has two different red columns. And so she has a darker red and a brighter red. And also all the colors in the skin tone can be a lip gloss. So depending on how you want to layer it, how bright, how strong, how deep, how intense, you use all those different values on your palette uh, as a suggestion. So we hope you've had a good time with us today and gotten some education on how to wear your beautiful uh, colors that you already have and how to buy more that are really accurate for you. So thank you for joining us. I hope that you uh, tune in to our weekly uh, video blogs and for more education and really growing and celebrating life together. So here's to the secret power of your colors.